Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the BS Extravaganza Football Forum. Oh yes, that is correct. We're back. We are back. Did you think that we were going to go through another season without us? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Last season was cut off short. Why? Why? The fans see now, they cry out by the teens. The teens. Demanding that we come back. People are suicidal, Brandon. Man, I, I, I just want to thank all y'all people that, that commented and sent us messages saying that, that you missed us. One person made the point that, um, you know, where's your sh videos because I like making fun of them. Yeah, you know, that's really nice, uh, but you know what? We appreciate you watching. I don't care if you make fun of us. Go ahead. Well, we'll make fun of ourselves. That's right. We always do. It's all about having fun, baby. And well, speaking the football truth. That's right. We've got so much knowledge right here. I mean, you know, ESPN guys are calling us all the time. What's going to happen, Scott? What's going to happen, Brandon? You know, we was a, I, I went out of it a little bit there last year. Yes, we had to cut the season short last year. And uh, a lot of people thought that maybe me and you had a problem. Right. And is that possible? Never. It's not possible, okay? Uh, so we felt like we owe it to our millions of fans to let you know kind of what happened. I'm just going to say that uh, my teammate signed with another team. Yes. And now she's got a new little football. A new little football. So I am terminating the contract. Terminating the contract. Kind of rough times last year, but you know what? We're going to pick up or we're going to move on into this new football season of Tennessee, and things are looking so bright, right? The only thing that could have been worse is when Kiffin announced that he was leaving. Is that what it was? <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of, of Wayne Kiffin, you know, we didn't get to comment on much last year. We've lost him, and um, he did so much for the university. We're finding out later, yeah, through the NCAA. What did a... Oh, USC played uh, the other night, didn't they? Yeah, their first game against uh, Hawaii was last night. I and think they uh, said that Hawaii uh, had enough yards that they could have, like, made their way back to Hawaii. Dude, um, Hawaii scored almost 600 yards of offense on USC. That's Hawaii. I mean, you know, gotta, you got to admit, they're a powerhouse out there in that little island. You know, the conference. Uh, the island conference. The island conference. Uh, of Hawaii. Well, I'll say this: they're the best team out there in Hawaii. They are the best. Yeah, and Jim uh, Jones has got that team geared up. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm really um, wishing the best for Wayne Kiffin and his dad and, and uh, Coach Orgeron or whatever his name was. <laughs> God, I'm gonna miss them guys. Oh. Anyways, oh, Orgeron was like a. 290 pounds, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah. He was awesome. Listen. Um, okay, so let's focus on now. We're going into this season. Everybody's so gloom and doom. My gosh. We, don't, we shouldn't even show up. We shouldn't even feel the team this year. Everybody, oh, God, we got, we've lost everybody. You know who we got for a coach, Brandon? Dooley? Yeah, he was a homeless guy. Yeah. yeah. He, they yeah. found him under an uh, overpass. Hey, you want to coach the team? Sure, come on. You pay me in booze? Yeah. By the, by the ounce or whatever. I mean, come on, people. Why is everybody so gloom and doom? This guy, Dooley, is a classy guy. He's going to come in here, and we're going to kick some butt maybe in a year or two. But, you know, this year right here is going to be a, a kind of rough. Rough. Wise. We're being real. Be realistic. Um, might be kind of uh, a challenging season. But you know what? We're going to stick behind our boys no matter what. There you go. And guess what? By the time you see this video, the UT Martin UT game. We're playing T Martin? T Martin. He got his own university. Our own team, son. And he's, he's walking around going, National Champion. National Champion. National Champion. 98. 98. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Anyway, by the time you see this, can't believe the game is on university. 
But I love the guy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, hey. Yeah. First BCS title ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, so by the time you see this, that game will already be played. Which I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that we'll beat them pretty handily. I think. Yeah. Uh, give me a score. Give me a, score. a ballpark score. Yeah. Let's say forty-two to six. That sounds good. I'll go with that. Sounds good. Forty-two to six. And uh, going on to the next week, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up to Knoxville, which is that's going to be huge for the team having our presence there at the game. We're going up for the Oregon game. Okay, it's going to be a seven o'clock. Ed Oregon. Ed Oregon. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping to pull off a win against the Ducks. Yeah, and you better watch that guy, you know, Blount. He's like, we'll punch somebody. I think he's gone. Jail? Life sentence. Oh, man. God. Anyways, <laughs> what do you know about Oregon? I know they got like 500 different uniforms. Right. Very good point. Very yeah. good point. And the dude that owns Nike, Phil Knight. Is it Phil Knight or Phil on the sound mode? It might be Phil McGroin. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, they're coming in with, his, is it Chip Kelly? Chip Kelly? I think that's his name. Didn't they used to own a Cadillac dealership down there in Dalton? I uh, probably did, probably yeah. did. For... Well, uh, Let's just go go into the uh, the Tennessee Oregon game and get a prediction here. What what are you thinking? Well, they're saying uh, Oregon's loaded. They're saying Oregon is loaded. Yeah, yeah. They're not saying that about us. They say they're pretty much saying we're unloaded. But I believe that we can take a good coach and implement his system with decent average talent, and as long as you're disciplined and you play well together and. Of course, a lot of great talent helps. I think we can. I think we can win this game. Yeah, I mean, well, they're coming all the way to Knoxville, right? And that's always that's always going to be a plus for you when you got your uh, home crowd behind you, and of course us too. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a big factor. They usually put us on the jumbotron when we go to the game, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure they do. I had never seen it, but I we, know that we, we at some point. Have, uh, I think maybe a really close, under two, low close. scoring. Yeah, maybe like a seventeen to thirteen. I'm on those seventeen thirteen Tennessee, and that's just a heart pick, hoping that we can win. Twenty four seventeen Tennessee, definitely a heart pick. Probably be a lot of them this year, but hey, stick by our team. Yeah. We're calloused up from some of the comments that people make, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's, uh, it's our pick. And we, we hope that they prove us wrong and maybe drop 50 on them. That's right. But we don't really know that much about us yet, and I don't really know that much about them. I can say this. If UT Martin beats them, burn the stadium. <laughs> no, man. No, nah, come on. Anyways, it's gonna be hard for one man to beat us, Tay Martin. Yeah, but listen, he's a national champion. All right, and he carries that around. On he his won the Heisman that year, and he went to the NFL first year. He signed as a rookie, but then again, won the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, and then he got the Nobel Peace Prize, and then he retired and started his own university. Anyways, listen, it's good to be back. We're hoping to grow this show again. We kind of lost momentum. We're back. We're going to be stronger than ever. And until next time, you are watching the BS Extravaganza.